The Bija Mantra Kaleem, known to many, is an extremely interesting mantra intended for incantation in order to find a life partner, or a colleague or friend. I have experienced the power of this mantra many times myself. However, in this material I would like to conduct an objective audit, something like an evaluation of someone who has been dealing with mantra yoga for a very long time and knows the mechanisms of forces and various scenarios arising as a direct result of practice. Personally, I use the clean mantra mainly to improve communication. Indeed, this mantra spreads the vibration of friendship and love that promotes building relationships and bonds. In my case, just repeating this mantra a few or a dozen times, even during a meeting, sometimes during a short pause caused a significant change and, of course, a change for the better, in the sense that I immediately found a common language with my interlocutor. If just a moment ago I encountered some difficulties in establishing an emotional connection with this person, after just a few repetitions these difficulties were eliminated and overcome. Therefore, the clean mantra is an excellent proposition for someone who usually encounters an emotional and mental barrier in contact with another person, and who wants to restore such good communication and give the relationship a positive value, at least for the time of the meeting, as we can be certain that the clean seed syllable has the appropriate emotional and mental charge that promotes connection, understanding, acceptance and ultimately redirects our conversation and the relationship itself to the right track. If I were to recommend the use of this mantra, it would probably be only for this purpose and in these circumstances, quickly, ad hoc and without special preparations, without excessive involvement in a longer meditation process. How do I explain my approach? Because my personal experience suggests that it is not worth internalizing the energy of this mantra without a specific goal, which when I say this, I also mean the situation when we want to attract someone new to us, get to know a new person. It is true that it may happen that when we go for a walk in the city, we start to feel increased interest in us, but usually this will not translate into the effect we would like, but the intense glances of many, many passes by directed at us and the suddenly aroused interest it will contribute more to us feeling overwhelmed and even tired. Personally, after Japa at Cleemore listening to Japa performed by talented recitors accompanied by music, I often attract unwanted people. To such an extent, these people are not my cup of tea, because most often the people who join me are homeless, intoxicated, drug addicts and unattractive. Although, of course, it must be admitted that a broader spectrum is involved here, the final effect is not consistent with what I initially assumed. This causes a practitioner like me to become frustrated and ultimately change his assumptions and plans. Of course, it may happen that if we have some social deficit, we feel lonely and we decide to add more color to our lives by using the Bija Mantra Kleem, I would recommend reciting it at home and staying at home. Then, firstly, we will avoid exposure to unwanted and harassing people, in the sense of eye contact or intrusion, which we would not want, and secondly, if we work through this waiting time well, there is also a high probability that we will attract one of our friends with our thoughts, and this happened on a memorable day when my friend suddenly remembered me and called me wanting to meet me and we actually met that day, what's more, my friend suggested that I take a train to Krakow, without much hesitation we jumped into a cafe to the first train from Warsaw to Krakow. This experience was brilliant, incomprehensible and the most successful, especially since I maintained my good mental condition during it thanks to a short and ad hoc training. But it should be remembered that such unexpected encounters happen very rarely, and their uniqueness is based on perseverance and, to some extent, also on suffering and pain, because the feeling of abandonment or alienation somehow works for us so that, thanks to the force of glue, they could attract something that is the opposite of that situation, i.e. an unexpected, but good and full of positive aspects, meeting. Also, it is clear from here that the issue of assessing the effectiveness of working with the clean mantra is ambiguous, and, and I would repeat this point ad nauseum, as with any other practice. It is important to remember that every practice, even the most astonishing and praised, causes side effects and accompanying elements of discomfort, on the one hand, it is favorable for us, but on the other, in order to balance this gain and satiation, it subtracts from us elsewhere, this is how the flow of experiences, the good and the bad, the positive and the negative, is regulated by this basic equilibrium, the principle of harmony, or simply the harmony from which we cannot escape. But why am I even discussing this topic, the effectiveness of the clean mantra? Because, on the one hand, this particular mantra turned out to be extremely helpful in several situations, which forces us to positively assess its potential and also express gratitude to people who impart this practical and not only practical knowledge, 
but on the other hand, even if the clean mantra has not gained for me the status of a permanent and superior practice, an indispensable spiritual instrument, it turned out to be a fantastic medium, a perfect half measure to obtain clarity on another important and key issue for me, namely, collecting experience and further searching for appropriate spiritual instruments, maybe even unspectacular things, but for so adequate and significant that they significantly improve well-being and one's own everyday functioning, of course, which cannot succeed without being connected with, according to my vision, the factor of knowledge and cognition in the spiritual sense, that is, subtle, and therefore necessarily involving special high energy, the medium of which, as we know, is a reservoir of various spiritual concepts and meanings, especially from the area of Indian spirituality. Namaste.